super freaked out right now. I lost my drone. I have to go grab it. I gotta get it back. Reezy Resells. Follow the hustle. What's up YouTube? Today we're doing one of my favorite things. We are going snorkeling at Hanama Bay. Normally I would like to go snorkeling at Shark's Cove, but as it is winter time, the waves are a little too gnarly. And like Scott said, if I tried to go do that, there'd be a bunch of locals just filming me and making fun of me because I probably would get wrecked. We're gonna take it a little easier. We're going to Hanama Bay and we're gonna have a good time. Hanama Bay is a high traffic tourist destination. So if you wanna come here and be guaranteed to be able to come in, you need to drive in around 7 to 7.30 a.m. because that's when the parking lot fills up completely. After that, when the lot is full, they do not let anybody else in. I think you can walk in, but it's like kind of a remote destination, so it's hard to get to. That being said, we got super lucky because we showed up at noon and the lot was blocked off. And then right as we were about to drive past the lot and continue on to do something else for the rest of the day, they opened it up and said, come on in guys. Before they let you down to the beach area to go snorkeling, you have to go through a nine minute video thingy just to like educate you about marine life safety and how you're supposed to treat the coral reef. Recreational and fishing site for Oahu's Royal Hawaiian families. Today's video is all about Hanama Bay. Yeah, snorkeling. I'm done snorkeling, as you can tell, by the grandma nature of my hands. She's enjoying it. So we're watching the baby while Scott and Chinay and Ari go do a little bit of snorkeling. And then after this, we're gonna go get some food. What do you wanna eat? I don't care. What do you wanna eat, Akaya? I think she's good with the bread. We might go eat some more sushi, or maybe we'll go eat some more steaks. I think it's highly likely that we're gonna eat some sushi. But the reef is super tight, guys. I highly suggest you come out to Hanama Bay. If it's summertime, you can just go to Shark's Cove. It's actually better, in my opinion. But Hanama Bay is really chill, especially if it's wintertime and you can't go to Shark's Cove. You should definitely make the trip out to Hanama Bay. It's pretty epic, guys. So that was 
still super fun, but now we are walking back to the parking lot. It's like a quarter mile hike uphill back to the parking lot. They have a tram that you can take. It's like $1.25, but it really only takes a couple minutes to walk up or down this hill, so it's not really worth it. Plus, you get a good view. Check out this view. Sleepy baby alert. It's all snorkeled out, bro. Too much snorkel, bro. What'd you think about snorkeling? It was fun, but I like, gives me anxiety. What kind of anxiety? Oh, I like a panic attack or something. I feel like I can't breathe. I feel like I'm dying. Wow. Yeah. All that snorkeling made us pretty hungry, so now we are gonna go to Aloha Salads in Kailua and eat some food. We were gonna eat Aloha salads, but everything is closed and we didn't realize it till we pulled up to the place and that place was closed and the place next to it was closed and so on and so on. And so we called Teddy's Bigger Burger and they're open. So I guess we're gonna eat Teddy's Bigger Burger. What's up guys, we just got back from eating dinner. I'm pretty stuffed, I had a half pound burger. Scott ate a whole one pound burger. That's pretty crazy to me. Anyways, we're gonna shower, we're gonna wash the ocean off of us, and then we're gonna head out to our friend's house in downtown Honolulu. They have a high rise condo, so we should have a great vantage point for some fireworks tonight. Hoping to see some fireworks. Maybe I'll fly the drone out into some fireworks or something. Be pretty epic. Everybody say fireworks. Later. What's up guys? We just got to Honolulu and we just parked in the parking garage of the apartments or the condos, not apartments. Check out this sweet motorcycle. Do you even call that a motorcycle? I don't know. Six hours at 2 a.m. <laughs> we are on the 33rd floor of a 40-story condo. So basically you could say we're all the way up. Check out this view though, for real. completely, um, had no GPS signal, and it was flying very erratically. I launched it from the 33rd floor balcony, which there's no way I was gonna be able to get it back up here. So I landed it on the roof of a adjacent building, and I have to go grab it right now. I really, really hope I'll be able to get it back. I gotta go find it. I lost my drone. I have to go grab it. I gotta get it back. Excuse me, sir. Do you know where Walmart is? It's gotta be around here somewhere. It looks like it's back that way. We went past it. Like like We're getting further. Yeah. Where's Walmart at, bro? Oh, this way. Walmart. Thank you. I still have connection to the drone via the controller, but I can't take off. I gotta get to the roof. Of course, they're closed. Let's figure this shit out. I'm looking for the parking garage entrance to see if we can even get there. 
Oh, this is so hectic, guys. Walmart parking this way. And it's all f***ing locked. It's all locked, guys. We're gonna have to fly this thing down to the ground and then go get it. That was the most scared I've been in a while. I was able to track the drone down. That was so intense. Literally like three blocks one way, three blocks the other way away from the condo. At least I got my movement goal for the day achieved. I have no idea why the drone would decide to just fly so erratically, but I knew it was trouble. The second I launched the drone, it wouldn't hover in place. I had no GPS signal, and it was telling me that I had magnetic interference. Landing it back on the balcony was gonna be a hell of a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. So I did the next best thing, which was landing it on the roof of an adjacent building, but then I had to go get it back which was three blocks down, three blocks over. And on top of all that, I couldn't get to the roof where the drone was at. The parking garage was all closed, so there is no way to get up to the top. So then I knew I had to launch it again. After I launched it, I had no clue if the building that I thought it was on was the building it was actually on. So I had to verify that by flying the drone around the edges of the building. When I found the Walmart sign, I ran around the building as quick as I could. When I found that, then I could hear the drone and I found it shortly after that and I landed it in the middle of the street, grabbed it without getting hit by a car. It was super duper legit scary. Not only did I almost lose my drone, I definitely got lost from the condo and I didn't know the address so I wandered around for a while and tried to find it. Eventually I text Rosa and got directions back to the condo but now I'm gonna check those directions on the map and see how lost I actually am. So here's me and here's where I need to go. So I wasn't that far at all. I'm actually only like two blocks away from where I needed to be. It's about 30 minutes later and I'm finally back at the condo with a drone and a good story to tell. I hope you guys appreciate this video. Thumbs up if you guys like this video because it scared the crap out of me. And on a lighter side, I'm actually proud of myself for remembering to grab my camera so that I could document this moment because even though I've been doing YouTube for two years now, I typically would forget to film during something like this. Like I would film something I had planned, but I would forget to film when real life came into play. Tonight, something bad happened, but it was real life, and I remembered to document the story, and I'm very proud of myself for that. Just as proud as I am that I got the drone back. I'll figure out what's wrong with the drone tomorrow. I'm just psyched right now. I'm super psyched for a bunch of reasons. Happy New Year's, guys. Cheers to 2018, and not losing your drone. Don't lose your drone. Not a good idea. Thank you for watching, guys. If if you like this video, please press the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, and until the next one, deuces.